Hi, everyone. Uh, thank you for joining today's webinar of uh, how Starship and our e-commerce integration can improve your shipping process. Uh, my name is Matt St. John. I'm the one of the sales executives here at V Technologies. And I'm going to go through, uh, we're going to show Sage 100 uh, with our e-commerce integration to Shopify. A real quick couple of house cleaning items here. Um, any questions, please feel free. There is a question pane. Um, please feel free to you know, type in any questions and I'll address those at, at the end of the webinar. Also, I'm gonna have a couple of quick poll at the end and appreciate it if you can just uh, answer the poll. So with that, let me get going here and start off, get my slide deck up. Okay, so currently with Starship and our e-commerce integration, these are the e-commerce sites that we have integrations with. Um, we do have uh, six to seven actually in works. Uh, I don't have an ETA on them. Um, but as you can see from SDs to, as I mentioned, Shopify, I'll show you today, Amazon, eBay. Um, we do currently have these available. And a little bit about the workflow with our integration. Um, so each integration in includes kind of two different ways you can actually use Starship with your e-commerce platform. Of uh, course, one being the e the direct integration, where from my e-commerce platform, I can actually pull orders directly into Starship. So working in Starship, pull in my, um, say in this case again, my Shopify orders, do my normal sh Starship routine, ship process, receive my shipping documents, and what Starship will do is automatically update my e-commerce site. Um, the e-commerce as extension, this is what I'm gonna show today. And so in this case with the extension, what that would entail is if we're taking our orders, again, in today's case, we're gonna pull them from Shopify. We are actually getting the orders created inside of Sage, we're creating that sales order number. So from Starship, we are gonna pull that sales order information. We are then, again, normal procedures, do our shipping process, get our shipping documents. And what the extension now is gonna do is pass the shipping information, not only back into Sage, kind of normal procedures for those who are currently using Starship or are familiar with it, you know, create, automatically create that invoice, update tracking inf information, freight amount, so on and so forth. It's also gonna write information back to the e-commerce platform. And again, that, that's what we'll show you today. We'll go through that. Okay. And one thing I wanna kind of side note here, wanna, wanna mention, I, fielding a lot of questions for our clients that are currently using Starship and have upgraded to our latest version, which is 18.0.3. Uh, a lot of them I ask, as you see this highlighted grayed out, normally grayed out when we rate shop this USPS priority mail in this case, and down below you can kind of see the USPS priority mail express. Uh, so a lot of clients are asking, hey, why are we seeing that? Um, so in 18.0.3, we did add the ability to add, so you could see the USPS rates because um, we are finding that USPS, and especially with our USPS module, we actually have negotiated rates um, that you do gain access to. If you use our module, you would need to create account through Pitney Bowes. Um, really, it, it, Pitney Bowes would be just kind of handling the funding, and that could either be done by credit card, where, hey, I have a metered account, I put $1,000 on a credit card, or you can actually apply for a line of credit. Um, but we do, again, we, we add this so you can actually see what those USPS rates might be. And as I mentioned, a lot of clients are finding, uh, they are finding some savings because um, right here, as you can see with USPS, not going to have to deal with any uh, surcharges being delivery or fuel surcharges, uh, address correction fees. There's zero correction fees there with USPS. Of course, big thing, the dimensional uh, rating, we don't have to worry about that. And one thing a lot of clients say, oh, but USPS doesn't do package tracking. Uh, they, uh, they do now, and our, our module also includes that. Okay. So one thing to consider, you know, any questions regarding the USPS module, please feel free to reach out to me. At the end, I'll have my contact information up, or you can even just call in and reach out to your account rep, and they'd be more than happy to uh, give you further information. So with that being said, let's uh, jump into using the integration between Sage and our e-commerce site, uh, Shopify. So here, let me bring up the Shopify website. Okay, I'm already logged in. I have uh, my order screen up, as you can see. 
and we'll be working with order 1180. So uh, currently now it's sitting in Shopify. As you can see, it is unfulfilled. So I'll just minimize this. We'll jump into stage. We'll bring that order up in sales order entry. Now I, I currently set up my system that this sales order number matches the Shopify uh, number. It doesn't have to be the case. Uh, really the way Starship is going to recognize that with this extension is by having this as you can see here is the user defined field that is my Shopify order. So that's kind of what does the connection. And then from there, if you want to get the, the line item detail connected, we would just need to map um, to the line item detail. Very simple process to get uh, this whole integration as an extension set up. Okay. So as you can see, we have our order right there inside of Sage. So I'll then jump into Starship. And as you know, you know those who are familiar with Starship, um, it's going to, be, going to be that same procedure. I'll be using our direct interface where we're shipping and working directly from Starship. Um, those that are new to Starship and taking a look at it, as you can see here from Starship with this direct interface, as a shipper, I am going to be able to ship directly from Starship. Technically, don't even need access to Sage. Okay, don't need it installed on my shipping machine. Um, with Starship, we can pull by sales order, customer, or in, by invoice number. Uh, we're going to just pull by sales order number here. We can, if our pick sheet or whatever we're shipping against is barcoded, we can use a regular wedge type scanner to scan that information. As you can see, we have a manual lookup or magnifying glass um, that I can look up a bunch of orders at once. From there, we can also get into batch processing. How about for the sake of demo here, I'll just type in that sales order number 1180. Way Starship works, we're looking into Sage, we're mapping fields from Sage. These map fields are bi-directional. Um, also, map fields can have a one-to-many relationship. Um, so as soon as this order comes in, you're going to see that based off the ship via, Starship's automatically going to select my carrier, uh, my service type, my account information, or the billing, I should say, being prepaid, the account number. Okay. Um, from this, you know, if you guys are doing third party or collect shipments, we can get into automating that whole process. So it automatically selects third party or collect. And from there, it's automatically going to select my customer's account information. Um, saving time as a shipper, one less thing I have to manually fill out or manually select. Okay. So the sender, that is the company that we are pulling the order from inside of Sage. So with Starship, we do support multiple companies as well as warehouses and locations. The recipient, that's coming from the ship to, all right. Recipient addresses, Starship does do address validation. We do validate zip plus four, um, and we also will validate the commercial residential flag. So a couple ways Starship right off the bat is gonna save you some money. Uh, on one way, the address correction fee, and then the commercial residential correction fee. Down in the packaging view, this is where we get into our item detail. Uh, so Starship is pulling order header information as well as the line item detail. Um, with this direct interface, one nice thing you can set up or Starship can automatically learn and automatically set up for you is what we call packaging scenarios. Uh, so here, my, my t-shirt, uh, there is a packaging scenario set up. So as a shipper, and when I bring in this order, Starship automatically knows, oh, that's a t-shirt. I know that item. It always goes into, in this case, my t-shirt, my shirt envelope is what I called the package. Uh, my other item, there's no packaging scenario. So I have my system set up. So it's going to just pull it in as a loose item. From there, I would need to put it into a package or an envelope, a bag, bail, what have you. Um, the system could also be set up that it puts my loose items into an actual default box. So you know, I don't actually have to repack it. But in this case here, it's a loose item, so I'm just going to take it, and I know oh, I can fit shorts and a T-shirt in my shirt envelope, so I'm just going to drag and drop and put both items together. Okay. If this had more items, I can get into holding down the uh, control or shift key and select multiple items to drag them into different packages. If the quantity was greater than one, I could also start holding the control key down to actually split quantities. All right. With the quantities or the units on shipment, um, right here, I can actually even change and back order items at time of shipment. As I mentioned earlier, Starship is automatically going to create the invoice inside of Sage. And anything I back order, of course, Starship will back order the invoice. And then from there, the sales order will be back ordered. Right. So on my uh, item detail here, 
Uh, like I said, we, we're mapping information from Sage, uh, but Starship also has its own database and it will automatically start storing your inventory items. A uh, reason we do this, you know, inside Sage, they don't really have a spot for say the NNFC code, if this was an LTL shipment, you know, freight class, um, if this was international, that it required international information. Now I know starting in 2017 of Sage, they did add a commodity code field. Uh, so if you're using that, we can just change the mappings and have Starship automatically pull that in. Um, but normally inside Starship, we actually have our own lookup where you, as a shipper, I can stop, I can quickly look up the harmonized or commodity code or schedule B code. Uh, we can look up by code by description, but also in that database, we store any of the other required information, such as uh, country of manufacturer, if I need to use like a NAFTA, fo uh, NAFTA form. Okay. Again, it's all going to be stored inside Starship. So as a shipper, I'm just streamlining my shipping process. Less things I have to stop and manually fill out. Okay. Um, this shirt envelope, Starship also has a database. If you need to, you can actually set up your own custom packaging. Uh, so this is nice if I am doing UPS FedEx shipment because once I set up a custom package, as you can see, it's automatically going to populate the dimensions for my shipper. When Starship does do weight, it will also take into consideration the dim weight. So another way we're going to help save you um, and you can not have to get hit with those dimensional correction fees. Uh, so if this one actually has a different dimensional weight, it would appear here in this grayed out area. The actual bill weight, my system, just being a demo system, I'm set up, I'm pulling that information directly from Sage. Uh, but if you do have a scale, we integrate with most scales so we can automatically pull that weight from a scale. Uh, next step as a shipper, maybe it's uh, I need to rate shop. I want to find the best rate for this shipment. Uh, with Starship, we can manually do that, and I can do it by clicking the green dollar icon, or I can click the charges tab and, and do it from there. Uh, with, with Starship and the Sage integration, um, we also, standard out of the box, no additional fee, no additional seats or licenses needed. We give you the ability to actually rate shop from sales order entry. So we do add a rate shop button right in sales order entry. So if I bring this up, as you can see, it's grayed out now, but right in there. Uh, so at time of order, your customer service reps could actually rate shop. So really the way Starship works is uh, we do a live call to the carriers that you have modules with. So we are sending the carrier your account information and we are going to return your live negotiator rates that you have with the carrier. Okay, these are not rate cards. These are not rating tables. This is a live call. So if tomorrow, if UPS save up the fuel surcharge, you would automatically gain access to that new rate. Okay, so as you can see here, I see all the different carriers. I can see delivery dates. I can see contract charge. Or if I wanted to, I could see my list charge. Again, there's that grayed out USPS rate. Actually, it looks like saving us 60, about 60 cents on this shipment here if I decided to use USPS. Um, with rating, we can get into ship via rules where Starship can automatically do the rate shopping for your, your shipper and you can define the rules. So, hey, you know, maybe Starship automatically select the least expensive or, and or maybe the least amount of delivery days and Starship would automatically rate this, select that carrier and or service. Charges tab, really just a breakdown of charge. As a shipper, I do not have to click on this to actually process a shipment. I just show it because with Starship, you can also get into setting up freight rules. So in this case here, I'm actually just using a promo code called free ship. Uh, but freight rules, as you can see, can be a percentage. So this one I have set up, I'm decreasing the shipment total amount by 100%. Or I could have done a rule that simply says, hey, don't write back the freight amount. Uh, but again, freight rules can be percentages, min max, Flat, flat rates, and as you can see, these triggers can be promo codes, it could be by customer, it could be even by user-defined field, so maybe a freight discount checkbox. And I can simply say, hey, if this uh, checkbox is selected, this customer receives a 10% discount. Okay. Uh, next step, when I really want to process my shipment, I can click the uh, Ship and Process button or the Save button. Um, give you two different options here. Uh, so save would be, you know, maybe if I'm staging an order, I, I quite don't want to process it yet because when I click ship and process, that is when I'm actually going to receive my labels or any other shipping documents. So Starship 
It's multi-carrier, multi-mode, so I can process LTL shipments. We have integrations with LTL carriers. Nice thing with that, I can rate, you know, five different LTL carriers, all from right from Starship or again from sales order entry. When I do that, it's going to save me time because now I don't have to go to each individual LTL carrier and you know put in my requirements for my shipment and get the individual rates. But again, as soon as I ship and process. Starship's going to take this order. It's going to write back all the, the information. In this case, it's going into Sage and then also back up to Shopify. Uh, get my shipping documents here. Just for the sake of the demo, I am previewing them. I'm also using what we call our smart label. And as you can see, the smart label will print a shipping label and packaging list together. Uh, so this would go to a laser printer. But if you wanted to, most certainly we can send the shipping label to a thermal printer. And the packing list, if you want to use Starship's packing list, that could actually go to a thermal printer as well. Or, of course, you do have the option of just sending that to a laser printer. Um, all the shipping documents, and, I, and by documents I mean like the packing list, bill of lading forms if this was an LTL shipment. Again, if it was international, we can do commercial invoices, NAFTA forms, so on and so forth. Those forms can be customized, so I can make them look a little bit different. Uh, we can get into doing things like printing rules where um, we can set up a template for, say, customer ABC. You know, they, they need the uh, packing list to look a little different and do a rule that says, hey, Starship, only generate this packing list or print this packing list when the order is for customer ABC. Okay, so a lot of flexibility with those forms. You know, they can go to different printers. Uh, we can send them to PDF, you know, like a network drive, save them to a network folder if you'd like. So shipping process, get my shipping documents, I'm gonna stick those on the box, maybe throw that packing list inside the box. As a shipper now, I'm in that rinse repeat cycle. I'm just gonna go on, select my next order. All right, put that right back in that sales order. Uh, switch, switch gears here, I'll just jump back into Sage. Maybe I'm a front office worker now here. I'll go into invoice data entry, go to my last invoice. Okay, so here's that sales order 1180 that we just shipped. And as you can see on the header tab, the tracking button, we're going to write into Sage's tracking table. So tracking information, this is inside Sage's table. So this will stay, you know, I can update this invoice and later on go through invoice history lookup or through customer maintenance. And I can have gain access to this information. I can use Sage's tracking button if I wanted to track this. I can also use our item package inquiry button to see what was in each package. Okay right directly into Sage's tables. Uh, on the totals tab, again, we're gonna write back freight amount, uh, plus or minus any freight rules. We can get into write back rules. So if there's some scenarios where I do not want freight to be written back, I can do that. Uh, maybe, hey, on the sales order, we already charged the customer freight. So we can simply tell Starship, you know, don't override this field if there's a value in there. Um, with the freight cost from Starship, this is kind of, uh, just to show you some advanced features of Starship, um, we can take additional information that lives inside Starship and actually pass it into Sage user to find fields with that direct or business object interface. So as you can see here, what I'm actually passing is my freight cost. So what the carrier is gonna charge me on this shipment. A nice little feature that way, you know, if I actually wasn't giving free shipment on this, uh, I could actually see, and maybe I was charging them, shorting myself, um, I could actually just change that you know, right from here before I update this invoice. All right. And then we'll jump back into Shopify here. And let me just refresh this so you can see how we're going to change this order. It's going to get changed to being fulfilled. Uh, if I partial ship this again, this would be partially fulfilled. We do update that as well. So it's you know, either unfulfilled, fulfilled, or partially filled. And then with the write back, we're gonna write back a note. Um, my system set up, I'm writing back the tracking number. I'm also writing back the applied freight. So again, that's what I'm charging the customer for the, the freight on this shipment. And again, in this case, we had that freight rule with that free po promo code. So the freight amount would write back as zero. Quickly show you our e-notification program. So with e-notify, this is also included with Starship. Uh, no additional seats, licenses, so on and so forth needed for eNotify. You can install on as many workstations as you like. 
but with eNotify, you can basically design your own custom email templates that you can send to your customers. That template I quickly designed here, go load up, I'll show you this, but again, company logo. These are very easy to design. You can link in Sage field, so PO number, sales order number, you know, let the customer know how it ships, of course, where it's going to, uh, item to box detail, tracking numbers are hyperlinked, so these will help reduce those inbound calls of customers just calling up looking for their shipments. And then you can get into doing maybe promo codes again and hyperlink the promo code, get the customer right back to your website. I'll show you dashboard. So dashboards also included with Starship. Dashboards are a reporting tool. So same thing, this can be installed in as many workstations as you'd like. Doesn't require any additional seats or licenses. Great reporting tool for the front office. You know, we can track from dashboards. So if maybe I needed to track a package, I could do that. We have a bunch of canned reports. A couple that a lot of customers always run is our late delivery report. That's simply going to go out, compare the guaranteed delivery date to the actual delivery date. Going to let you know of any shipment that wasn't delivered on time. So you can contact the carrier and try to get a refund. And then we do have a charge comparison report. Uh, this supplied versus contract one. This is simply going to show me all my shipments. It's going to show me what I charge the customer for the shipment. It's going to have a column that's going to show me what the carrier is going to charge me. Kind of like I showed you how you could do that with a user to find field inside of Sage. And then the third column, of course, would be the plus or minus. So very quick and easy way that you can run this report and make sure you're not losing money on your shipments. Okay, there we go, finally updated. So here's my Shopify. Um, screen again, and now as you can see, order 1180 has been fulfilled. We even have the little note icon because again, Starship did write back the tracking information. Again, mine set up just to write back the tracking number and the applied freight amount. And that would be, if I drill down into this order, we'll be able to see that if my machine wants to cooperate here. Oh, there we go. So as you can see, the notes tab, master tracking number, the applied charges. Again, this customer had that promo for free shipping. And then down below, under, as you can see today, and we fulfilled two items and we added the note, which again is that tracking and freight amount information. All right. So again, that, that's the kind of the Shopify Starship uh, extension on how it writes back to both Sage as well as Shopify. And that's really what I wanted to cover today. And uh, let me uh, just check and see if there's any questions so we can quickly answer those. Um, okay, one question, can I buy shipping from Amazon? Um, great question. So our Amazon integration, and I'm assuming you mean uh, FBA or fulfillment by Amazon, where we're gonna ship on Amazon's carriers and Amazon's account. Uh, the answer is yes. So with that uh, Amazon integration, when you do rate shop inside of um, Starship or even again from sales order entry, you will see all the different options for the Amazon carriers. Uh, so it, it will show you um, those different rates that Amazon offers. And then of course Starship is gonna print the shipping documents. So you don't have to go to the Amazon uh, screen to actually print those. Just let Starship handle all that. And of course, we will write back, uh, just like we did with Shopify, all the shipping information. Let's see, another question, can we handle shipping of hazardous materials? Uh, yes, Starship can handle hazardous materials. Um, we do have our whole kind of like those other databases, as you can see right here for hazardous materials. And I'll quickly, uh, quickly can show you that. But you can set up the different um, types. I'm going to go to do this right. And, uh, this is our freight. Nope. Could be at the wrong site here. Uh, but yes, there is the whole database where we can actually pull in hazardous material. We can then this would be selected. I could I can tell it you know what type or what category the hazardous material, and then from there you even print hazardous documentation. Um, one question is, how did I get the order into Sage in the first place? Uh, good question. There are some third-party solutions out there. 
um, that will actually automatically monitor uh, your uh, e-commerce sites and shopping carts and pull in the information and automatically create the sales order, um, one being InSync by ROI Consulting. Um, great product. And again, it would automatically take those orders from the shopping cart, create the sales order inside of Sage. You know, a lot of customers are manually doing that. Um, but again, you can use an, like a product like InSync to automatic, automate that process. And of course, once it's inside of Sage, then we just use that extension of, in this case, the Shopify, where we're then going to write back to Sage as well as um, the Shopify. Uh, another question is freight quote still the only 3PL logistics company that we integrate with. Uh, we do, we, it's still freight quote and uh, SMC3 is the other one. Um, we are working on integrating with other third party logistics companies. Uh, and those are unfamiliar. Basically, a third party logistics company is hey, you would actually ship with the carriers that they have negotiated rates with. Uh, so, for example, they might have 50 different carriers, um, and then they'll, they'll allow you to say, oh, yep, you're going to use ABC's trucking company. Here's the rate. So it's for carriers that you don't have a direct integration for. Um, when we first started out doing these integrations with the LTL carriers, we found that a lot of clients were telling us, oh, you know what? I can work directly with the carrier and get better rates than with a 3PL. Uh, but times has changed. I've actually, in the last couple of months, have talked to a lot of different customers, and it's the opposite. Now people are telling us that, hey, you know, I get better rates through a 3PL than directly with a carrier. So um, we are working on coming up with more integrations to third-party logistics companies. So it is, is in the pipe work. I didn't, don't have ETAs for any of them yet, but we are working on them. Another question, can you do small parcel shipping? Um, through Starship? Yes, of course, you can do small parcel. It is, again, multi-carrier, multi-mode. As you can see up here, I could do parcel or I can do freight uh, or you know, LTL shipment, uh, most certainly. And it basically chooses just based off that ship via um, or, you know, of course, probably anything under 150 pounds would be small parcel. Uh, another question, uh, UPS ground freight. Uh, we do support UPS ground freight rates. Yes, we support most, pretty much all the contract services that UPS, for example, offers. Uh, so if you're currently using like UPS WorldShip or FedEx Ship Manager, um, Starship's going to take place of those two programs. You know, again, all your shipping is going to be done right from Starship. So we do support uh, options like ground freight uh, pricing or even uh, for if you're doing international shipments, uh, UPS does, I think they call it paperless invoicing, where they'll handle sending all the international documents. We support that as well. Oh, a question that someone wanted to see the current the sites that we have integrations with. So yeah, let me put that right back up, no problem. Minimize my demo machine. And, oh, I don't know why this is not. Let me try that again. Oh, okay, so you guys should be able to see now. Uh, so again, Estes, WooCommerce, Amazon, eBay, 3D Cart, Shopify, Big Commerce, Magento, and Volusion. And again, we have about six or seven that are in the pipeline that we are developing. Okay, I got a bunch of questions here. And yeah, if we don't get to all the questions, I will most certainly um, reach out individual. This is an enhancement we are working on. Again, I don't have an ETA. Uh, but currently, if inside Starship you do change the ship via, uh, it does not change the ship via inside of um, Sage. Uh, we again, we are. It is enhancement. Um, we are working on that. And again, unfortunately, I don't have an ETA ETA on that. Um, honestly, we are coming out with a web version of Starship, and that's kind of what our developers are currently working on right now. No, it is a pain, but we're, we're working on it. We're going to get there. Let's see, any other questions here? Oh, we have one about the implementation. Um, so Starship implementation, if you're new to Starship, um, could be anywhere uh, four to eight hours, you know, again, depending on number of users, number of carriers. 
but usually you can get it set up in a day. And then from there, we offer training. We can work with your shippers. And, and what we like to do is have you guys actually have some live shipments we can actually process with you. Uh, but fairly simple um, implementation process that, again, we'll walk through. You get everything installed, up and running, and then do training, and then also work and um, do some actual live shipments with your shippers. Okay, let's see what else we have. Okay. Oh, I have another comment that uh, for those uh, bridges between your e-commerce and Sage, uh, Serta Pro also has a solution. That is correct. It's a good solution as well. Yeah, I know we're about five minutes over. So again, I'll go through all these questions. It's kind of really small on my screen here. Uh, but I'll go through all of them and, and personally reach out and answer them. And let me put up my contact information. So if anyone has any further questions, or I'd be more than happy to schedule a one-on-one -on -one demo um, with anyone. Um, here's my contact information. Feel free to give me a call, shoot out an email. We'll certainly schedule a one-on-one -on -one demo or even just a discovery call if you kind of want to go over your current procedures. More than happy to work with you if, if you're a current Starship user um, or if you're a new user looking at Starship. Now, please feel free to reach out. i uh, be more than happy to schedule time with you. All right. So again, I really appreciate everyone taking time out of their day. I know we're kind of a couple minutes over. Um, and I'll look through those questions and uh, personally reach out and give you answers. Thanks so much, and everyone have a great day.